The Tale of Despero, Chapter 46, Mouse Blood. Yes. Despero stood at the top of the dungeon stairs and peered into the darkness that waited for him below. Oh, he said. Oh, my. He'd forgotten how dark the dark of the dungeon could be, and he had forgotten, too, its terrible smell, the stench of rats, the odor of suffering. But his heart was full of love for the princess, and his stomach was full of cook's soup, and Despero felt brave and strong. And so he began immediately, and without despair, the hard work of maneuvering the spool of thread down the narrow dungeon steps. Down, down, down went Despero tilling, and the spool of thread. Slowly, oh, so slowly they went, and the passage was dark, dark, dark. I will tell myself a story, said Despero. I'll make some light. Let's see. Hmm, it will begin this way. Once upon a time, oh yes, once upon a time there was a mouse who was very, very small, exceptionally small, and there was a beautiful human princess whose name was P, and it so happened that this mouse was the one who was selected by fate to serve the princess, to honor her, and to save her from the darkness of a terrible dungeon. This story cheered up Despero considerably. His eyes became accustomed to the gloom, and he moved down the stairs more quickly, more surely, whispering to himself the tale of a devious rat and a fat serving girl, and a beautiful princess, and a brave mouse, and some soup, and a spool of red thread. It was a story, in fact, very similar to the one you are reading right now, and the telling of it gave Despero strength. He pushed the spool of thread with a great deal of gusts and gusto, and the thread, eager, perhaps, to begin its honorable task of aiding in the saving of Princess, leapt forward and away from the mouse and went down the dungeon stairs ahead of him without him. No! cried Despero. Oh, no, no, no! He broke into a trot, chasing the thread through the darkness. But the spool had a head start. And it was faster. It flew down the dungeon stairs, leaving Despero far behind. When it came to the end of the stairs, it rolled and rolled and rolled, until finally, lazily, it came to a stop, right at the gnarled paw of a rat. "'What have we here?' said the one-eared rat to the spool of thread. "'I will tell you what we have,' said Botticelli Ramorso, answering his own question. "'We have red thread.' How delightful! Red thread means one thing to a rat. He put his nose up in the air. He sniffed. He sniffed again. I smell. Could it be? Yes, most definitely it is. Soup! How strange! He sniffed some more. And I smell. Hmm, tears. Human tears. Delightful. And I also detect the smell. Hmm. He put his nose high in the air and took a big whiff of flour and oil. Oh my, what a cornucopia of scents. But below it all, what do I smell? <laughs> the blood of a mouse. Unmistakably mouse blood. Yes. Ha, ha, ha. Exactly mouse. Botticelli looked down at the spool of thread and smiled. He gave it a gentle push with one paw. Red thread. Yes. Exactly. Just when you think the life in the dungeon cannot get any better, a mouse arrives.